I hope. So we'll discuss once again, children, the methods of separation of impurities. Methods of separation of impurities. So we'll have a quick recap of it. We'll have a re we'll revise it once again. So the methods of separation of impurities, as we have already discussed about it, we have we use different types of methods for separating the impurities. Like we already have discussed about the sedimentation and decantation. So uh, in the sedimentation process, what happens is we just take the clear water and we add a little amount of sand in that. So what happens if we add sand in that sand because it is insoluble, it settles down after some time. Even though if you stir it properly with a spoon, you take a spoon and if you stir it properly, even then, even though it will, it won't dissolve in the water. What happens after some time, just if you give time for, uh, it depends on the time. So when it settles down, then you can see somewhat clear water will be there, but it won't be clear. So because of the sand, it settles down. Now you can take that uh, water in another container. So it's called as decantation. In sedimentation, what is sedimentation? Sedimentation is the process by which heavier particles of an insoluble solid. Sedimentation, just one second children. You, if you want, you can even underline it. In your text, sedimentation is the process by which heavier particles of an insoluble solid settle down. Okay, so this is called as sedimentation. Heavier particles of sand, they settle down. Either it might be sand or any other insoluble particle which you are mixing. So it settles down. But in the case of oil, in the case of gasoline, they won't settle down. They'll be floating on the water. So you can separate the upper layer easily. And the bottom of the water, there won't be any impurity. The, uh, the oil won't mix. It doesn't settle down in the water. So you can just easily pour the upper layer of the water and you can remove the oil droplets, which will be floating on the water. So I, in this decantation, decantation is pouring out the liquid without disturbing the sediments. Decantation is pouring out the liquid without disturbing the sediments. Now the sand will be sedimented down the sand will be settled down in the water now you can easily pour this water in other container so this is called as decantation decantation cannot be used if the solid dissolves in liquid isn't it if the solid is completely dissolved in liquid you cannot separate them <coughs> sorry children and it cannot be uh, we cannot do uh, sedimentation also it because it won't uh, settle down it will be completely soluble okay now uh, if you see uh, like the substances like salt sugar or any substance which can dissolve completely can you separate them do they settle no they won't settle because they will they will be completely dissolved if you go on adding go on adding salt or sugar when there is no space in the water to accumulate to uh, make them sit in between the spaces of the water molecules if there is no space then the sugar will settle down then sugar will settle down but some part of the sugar will be mixed it will be soluble inside the water but if we see the sand it shows here for the sand and other insoluble particles, heavy particles. We can do this sedimentation and decantation. Okay. Now I hope you it's clear for you children about decantation and sedimentation. Okay. So uh, I'll just change the slide. Once again. Now coming to composition of air. 
Now, if you see the composition of air, what is composition of air? General? Where is air present? Keep your camera, everyone. Run it. Just one second. Please run it. Unmute Ma yourself. Mom, I have doubt. Yes. What doubt you have? Mom, in exam I wrote all correctly only, ma'am. But when I uh, see it, uh, when I saw the result, it came uh, zero by ten, zero by ten, ma'am. Why? I check. I don't know, ma'am. Uh, and I think yes. Run it. Okay. Kaushal, keep your camera. Yes, Kaushal. Kaushal Patel, unmute yourself. Yes, Kaushal. Unmute yourself, Kaushal. Kaushal, uh, when talking about com composition of air, what, where, uh, what is the composition of air? What is present in the air, in the atmosphere? What type of gases are there in the air? Ma'am, just now I joined, ma'am. You haven't present previous class? On Friday, you were not present. On Saturday, on Thursday, you were not present. You were there on Saturday, on, I mean, on uh, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Even we have discussed it, isn't it? From Monday, we are just discussing about the same chapter about i mean about the same topic isn't it yes anyone keep your camera yes uh, tanushri can you tell me You can unmute yourself. Tanushree, you can unmute yourself. Yes. Bhuvan? Bhuvan? Hello, ma'am. Yeah, Bhuvan. Bhuvan, what is the composition of air? What are the gases which are present in the air? Hydrogen, carbon dioxide, water vapor, helonium, oxygen, methane. Okay, there are yeah. three types of gases which are present in the air. So here we'll see the composition. What are the composition and in uh, how much percentage the gases are there in the air? Okay. Uh, mute yourself, children. So here, if we see the composition of air, which type of gas is more in concentration, more in percentage in the air? Yes, Jashwan? Jashwan, you can unmute yourself. I think Jashwan can't uh, reply. Yes, which one? Which one you can add? Which one you can Unmute yourself. Which is the percentage? Uh, which gas is more in number? Which gas percentage is more in the air? Nitrogen. Okay, yes, good. Nitrogen. And what is the percentage of oxygen in the air? Yes, Jashwan. You can unmute yourself. You can't. Okay. Okay, let it be. Tanushri. Ma'am, 21. 21%. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, Ronit, unmute yourself and keep your camera. Ronit, what is the percentage of carbon dioxide in the air? Carbon dioxide and other gases like water vapor, and other. 
what is the percentage yes keep a camera everyone yes hitansh yes ma'am ma'am arga organ is 0.993% ma'am ek person water vapor is 0.4% and ozone is 0.0004% ma'am okay yes good okay children uh, just mute yourself so here if we see ozone and other gases so the percentage of different types of gases you can even have it in your course book also so there are very trace amounts there are very little amount 0 to 1% 0.4% of water vapor carbon dioxide methane sulfur dioxide ozone nitrogen oxide so these are in a very minute quantity not trace amounts but those a very high amount which we can find nitrogen we can find the nitrogen in 78.8% okay uh yes hanvita ma'am what is a trace mean ma'am trace means very little amount in a very little amount we can find these gases okay Okay, ma'am. You can mute yourself. Yes, sir. So, if we see one by one about all these gases, like nitrogen, nitrogen is present in seventy-eight percent. So, like where we can get this nitrogen? Why it is a very high amount in the atmosphere? It means nitrogen is an inert gas. Inert gas in the sense. it's formed primarily by volcanic actions nitrogen gas is formed by volcanic actions like you all know volcanoes you all know volcanoes so when volcanoes erupt when these why these volcanoes erupt volcanoes erupt because there are lots and lots of uh, gases which are present there is there is very much heat inside the earth inside the core of earth so because of this heat because of this gases they'll be reacting they want to come out of the earth they are packed inside the ground they want to come out so from where they'll come out from the volcano when the volcano erupts so this gases when they come in contact with the atmospheric oxygen when they come in contact with the outside air they start to react so when they come out they'll be in huge number so this nitrogen because of this the nitrogen is liberated in the atmosphere so because of that we can find the nitrogen in the atmosphere in high amount so uh, this nitrogen is really important for everyone even the animals they also need nitrogen so in what amount in what in which type of food we consume in which type of food we, we are consuming this nitrogen in the substances like meat milk and eggs we can find this nitrogen in a very little quantity from where we are getting this nitrogen and why we are getting this nitrogen means when this nitrogen when it is in the uh, yes who have this doubt okay no rudranish you haven't missed anything i have started just now so we are talking about the composition of air and we have already discussed about the decantation and sedimentation process i am revising everything once again so no need to worry about that so we are talking about nitrogen now so nitrogen why it is uh, that much important we consume i mean uh, when the animals they consume the nitrogen how they are consuming they cannot consume it from the atmosphere directly they won't consume firstly this nitrogen uh, is consumed by the plants even plants they cannot consume the nitrogen directly how they are consuming plants are consuming this nitrogen atmospheric nitrogen is being converted into the 
uh, dissolved, I mean, the usable form with the help of bacteria. Nitrogen fixing bacteria will be there on the plant, so the form of nodules. In some plants, like you have, uh, you eat uh, groundnuts, you eat beans. So these bean plants, these beans are uh, the nitrogen fixing bacteria will be present in the uh, nodules. So these nodules will be converted into uh, usable form of nitrogen. So this atmospheric nitrogen is being con uh, changed into usable form and then the plants utilize them. When the animals, they eat these plants or when we prepare the curry out of these beans, you eat beans? We all eat beans. We eat the curry of that bean. So when we eat such type of uh, vegetables, then we are consuming this nitrogen. When you eat this uh, groundnuts, you are allowed to eat groundnuts, isn't it? So we even prepare the chutney out of these groundnuts, isn't it? So when we are consuming these, we are consuming the nitrogen. So this nitrogen is also important. It is also utilized by the body. So even when the animals consume these plants, so they also getting this nitrogen. Okay. So most of the atmospheric nitrogen enters the soil with the help of this nitrogen fixing organisms. So in higher classes, you'll be learning about this nitrogen fixing microorganisms. What are there and how in the form of what they are fixing this nitrogen? What is the procedure? You'll be learning. No need to go in detail about this now because you're too small for this topic. So when we are talking about now coming to oxygen children, oxygen is 21% in the atmosphere. From where we are getting this oxygen? Yes, Srihit, R. Srihit, keep your camera. From where we get oxygen? Keep your camera, everyone, so that I can see you. From where we can get the oxygen? Yes, Sanushri. Ma'am, from plants. Yes, good. From plants, we are getting oxygen. So uh, this oxygen is produced by plants. Plants take in carbon dioxide and they give out oxygen. So we all need oxygen to respire. We take in, we inhale oxygen, we, we exhale carbon dioxide. So plants give us oxygen. So it's essential, even oxygen is essential for burning process also. If you want to burn something, if you want to burn uh, the fire, I mean, if you want to cook outside, you're going for outing, you're going for picnic outside, you want to cook something. Then if you want to burn the wooden locks, so what is required for that? Oxygen is required. So even I have showed you one experiment of a candle. If you're burning the candle, yes, Hanvita? Mom, I can't see the screen, ma'am. You can't see the screen? Okay. Well, you just log again. I'll admit you. Okay. Okay. I'll just check. Okay. Yes. Yes, children, we'll check the notes now from week one, unit two, week one. Yes, take out your fay notes. Take out your fay notes. I'll share the screen with you all. If you have any doubts, you can just tell me. Just one second, I'm ju I'll just share the screen.
Finish now. Finished? Yes, ma'am. Just one second. Yes, I have unmuted everyone. Ma'am, wait ma one minute. Okay, okay. Ma'am, from Mahalakshmi only the reason is coming, ma'am. I think she logging in too, ma'am. If you log in with two devices, the resound will come, children. I can't be able to unmute everyone. Yes, ma'am. Keep your camera, everyone. Ma yes, ma'am. Can you keep the next slide, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am. Mahalakshmi joined two yes, times. Ma ma okay, I'll keep next slide. Please check those who haven't written at all. I'll share once again. Please message me. I'll share once again. Those who haven't written okay. at all. Mama. Yes. Check the next Mom. one. Mom. 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 Yes. What happened? Mom. Mom. Please. Can you do big size? Yeah, sure. Ma. It's not coming. Hello, ma'am. Okay. Yes, who is this? This is writing It is checking the video. Some part of your mute is but the sound is coming. FN, ma'am. FN, FN. Ma'am. This one. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. You have to write an FN. Those who haven't written at all, you can just message me. I'll send you. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, tell am everyone to mute, ma'am. Yes, mute everyone. Everyone, mute yourself. Yes. Check your answers. Okay, those who have written, you can check the answers. Shall I change the answers? Who did not write the answers? Telling them to write. Yeah. Okay. Check second bit. Justify the following statements. Burning of wood is an irreversible change. So check the answer. You have written it properly or not. The process of burning wood and leaves create ash and smoke. Ma'am, is this week two? No, it's week one. Week ma'am? Yeah, it's week one. Ma'am, ma is uh, second. Yeah, Hello, ma'am. Ma'am. Yes, what happened? Ma'am. Ma'am, is it section B or C, ma'am? It is uh, section B. Ma'am, I have a doubt, ma'am. Yes, what doubt you have? Ma'am, B or C? Wait, no, ma'am. Srikshita. Ma'am, in this week, for first question is uh, list any four sources of air pollution, no, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, after it, ma'am, man-made sources such as uh, firms from in industries don't get... Ma'am, ma'am, is not showing yes, wait, ma'am, week one. I know, I'm writing week four, okay? Changes in matter. Changes in matter. Check changes in matter. First, week one. You need to week one. It's in page number nine. 
for this to be in page number nine. Take out course book page number nine. Come after fasting. Mute yourself. Take out course book page number nine. Ashang Dore. Ashang Dore. Mute yourself, everyone. 